Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. So today uh, we are going to Huey. So the other day we went to Huey but today we're going to Huey. Huey? Huey? I think that's how you say it. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to be going there. Our bus leaves in 40 minutes. And yeah, so I'm currently going to be, I'm playing some table tennis right now. But uh, yeah, and also, sorry for the no vlog yesterday. Just, um... It was pretty good for me, three days in a row. That might sound really stupid, but anyway, three days in a row. But uh, yeah, so sorry, I took the vlog off, took the day off yesterday. Well, I did actually vlog a little bit, um, and it was quite fun what we did. So I'll show you welcome to another day, another vlog, and hopefully an exciting vlog. Um, I've just got out of bed, and we are going to go on a bike ride around the resorts after breakfast but we well, yeah now we're currently going to breakfast but yeah it should be good fun so let's go let's go like i always say let's go i haven't really showed you guys um what they have to offer at this breakfast but i'll show you now and then they it's really nice it's really about to go on the bike ride we all have bike And yeah, we're all about to go on that bike ride. Where they do a tour around all. Hello! Hi. Um, we're about to go on all the. Yeah, it goes all the way around all the resorts. And yeah, it should be good fun, hopefully. <laughs> but no, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. It's a lot. It feels a lot easier than a um, my bike I have. It's like got no gears. Because this only has one gear, but my bike has like 20. So I don't even know how many. Anyway, yeah, we're about to go. So it should be fun. Alright guys, so um, here at our resort, they have uh, a lot of activities that you can do um, and activities that are complimentary, meaning free with your stay and then activities that you have to pay for and me and my stepdad are going to go on jet skis so I'm going to bring you along, I've got a waterproof case on yeah, just put that up I've got a waterproof case on so yeah, it should be good fun and we're about to go do some jet skiing on the jet ski! After about an hour of driving from our resort, we've made it. Um, we're currently on one of these like bikes. See, I've got a guy behind me. Yeah. Like those sort of bikes. And yeah, they take us for a tour around way. And yeah, this is it. It's pretty fun. So one of the stops along. So they take us to heaps of like stops and I guess like kind of touristy areas and we're at like the um, military um, air force combat between America and um, Vietnam and yeah so it's got like some plane tanks more planes helicopters yeah so it's pretty cool and to think that these were used in the war is uh, even more cool and quite surreal all right so I guess you could call this a history lesson so the next stop on this um, bike tour is we're at this uh i don't know how to describe it but um okay i'll go from the start from the start so a couple better how long ago was this bombed so in 1960 hawaii got bombed by i guess yeah was that yeah so vietnam and america i guess australia as well were at war and Hawaii was bombed quite badly, severely. And um, this part, this part, well, this is like this is a kind of one of the emperor's palaces type place. And um, I got a cannon here, which are 214 years old. So yeah, it's very, very, it's really cool. And we were just inside in there, but we're not allowed to film in there just for reasons. But we saw like where the emperor would have ate his food, would have slept. So yeah, it was pretty cool. 
But um, yeah, now we're gonna go get back on these bikes and it should be fun. Just to give an idea what it's like in well, Quay, but just Vietnam in general. People just have their own little shop on the side. So we're just in a cafe over there and we got three Lipton iced teas, two coffees and it was only $80,000 so it was about $4, nearly $5 so cheap <laughs> anyway yeah we're still on this bike it's really good fun really good way to, um uh, really good way to explore way and yeah so it's good fun and i certainly recommend if you were in Huawei or even Huayan that you do this because yeah, it's really really good um, all right so we've just got off another stop on the bike ride and we're in um I don't even know what to just call it, like a big area with massive walls around it for protection in the war so people obviously couldn't get out. I mean, no, people couldn't get in, sorry. And they probably wouldn't have been able to get out either. But yeah, it's got like palaces, a lot of really cool things. Um, yeah, it's just Vietnam's really, really cool, especially why I think it's a lot more not ancient. Well, I guess ancient, yeah, and old. Yeah, it's really cool to see what... It was like another country so long. All right, so that was pretty darn cool. That um, the place we we're just in. So th that's how high the walls were. So imagine trying to climb them under fire. Anyway, so yeah, all this is where they they would have all you know hundreds and well, thousands of people would have all been packed into this. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Saw so all the ruins and stuff like that. Um, but now we're going back on the um the. I can't talk. What is with you? Okay, we're going back on the uh, bicycles things, which these are really, really fun. Like I said before, I really suggest doing this if you're, even if not just in a place like this, or if you're in a new, you know, city or you're overseas and you know, there's those people on the bikes with a seat at the front. I'll show you a picture when we get there, or even just video it. Um, I really suggest it. It's a really good way to see the city, and um, especially like Vietnam, Vietnam compared to Australia. Um, like, you know, there's stacks of motorcycles. It's on the other side of the road. You know, it's really, really cool. So I certainly recommend it. Um, Plain for me. But, uh, yeah, so now I've got to go find these guys to get back on the bike and uh, go. So then we might go to, we want to try to find a, a market, maybe with some clothes or uh, even, I don't even know. We're going to try, go try and find a market. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's all. For now, it's what these little carts look like. It's just a bike with a chair. They're really cool. This is my one. It looks like that. 100, 120. Yeah, 120. No, 150. No, 120. Sam Sam Vietnam. 150. Okay. No, no. So, what, what's in there? A wallet. A wallet. The wallet's a doll and a little tin. This is how you bought it. Oh, okay. no. Nah. Come on, Nigel. That's not how you do it. It's in a bag. Oh, that's not how you do it. Just picked up a new G-Shock watch, which is about, which was $200,000, which is equivalent to $30. Pretty good. And also got a watch, $60,000, which is about four, um, which is, which was $60,000 with the Aka. And it was about, and it's roughly about, uh, $4. So yeah, pretty good. Skipping past a bit of time. Um, yeah, we've just been in the, we caught the bus back, the shuttle bus back from, um, Huey, and now, and we've just been in the pool once we got back, but I thought I'd just show you what I got today. You've already seen the watch, um, but I just also got this watch, um, not this watch, this, uh, wallet. It's good. So, alright, gonna get some lovely dinner like we do every night at one of the, um, restaurants here at the resort. Um, yeah, so we're going to a restaurant, like a, uh, Asian restaurant, you know, Malaysian, Japanese, you know, they've got sushi, sh sushimi, so yeah, it should be good, let's go. Just had a great dinner in what looks like a massive dome. Um, 
Yeah, it's really nice. Beautiful It's a really, really nice restaurant here at the resort once again. Absolutely amazing restaurants here. So yeah, really cool. Alright guys, I will see you tomorrow on Milvo's channel, MDIA, where we'll have another great day. And until then, please like, subscribe, and I think this could be my new outro. And see ya!